Hey, hey, hey! So, we are going to do a Tati look today. Alright, so I'm going to go in with Soothed Matte, which is just like this really pale color. I'm not using any primer. So we can see how it works without primer. brush it's kind of falling out a little bit good gracious it's falling out a lot okay so we're just going to use this as kind of a transition color oh that's so pretty can I have just like a light, like a pale, or like a, like a light brown, maybe? I have to say, these colors are really pretty, number one. And the palette is just, it's a beautiful color story. I know it's like textured neutral, so it's kind of more neutral colors. I tend to like brighter colors, but I still love this palette. Um, the glitters and the, the shimmery colors. I love that. Just trying to get my eyes even here. Okay. So I did that. Now I'm going to go in with uh, story matte which is an orange shade I'll show you real quick which is this color we just went in with this color now we're gonna go in with this one okay to pick a brush now let me do that you just like I want to do just kind of like a it's going to be an extra look but like you know kind of more natural colors obviously it's a natural palette but I thought about doing a cut crease because I really like to do like to try one see how the the shadows perform over a concealer, but I will do that another time. That is really pretty. Kind of going right down the line here. I'm going to use this brown next, which is Ritual Matte. There's just a whole lot of mattes. I don't know why I'm picking that but it is what it is you know it is what it is oh that's pretty okay then we're gonna go in my corner with that brown Any brush will do. You guys ever just have so many brushes that you can't really choose, you know? Okay, I'm just taking this brown. It's kind of like a pumpkin spice kind of look, actually. More of a fall look than a spring look, but you know. Whence the spirit moves you, just follow. Doing the, the little circle motions. This little, I think this is an e.l.f. brush. Yeah, the e.l.f. eye crease brush. 
I don't like the e.l.f. blending brush, but the, this brush is actually really good for the crease because it just packs the color right in there perfectly. I'm trying to get better about not opening my mouth. <laughs> when I was editing the other videos, I'm like, man, my mouth is open a lot. It's like, shut your mouth, sweetie. You look like a trout. Close your mouth. What is it? Close your mouth, sweetie. You look like a trout. Phyllis from The Office says that to Pam. That's cute. It's cute. It's definitely cute. I'm not going to bring the black in here. I'm not going to go straight across and just do all of the mats, but these mats are really, really nice. Alright. Bring this brush back in here and just blend, you blend, you blend. That's cute. Way to go, Tati. I like that. Okay. Now, for now, for my lid. Okay, so I'm going to use Soothe Sequin on my lid. This is an e.l.f. brush. This should work. Hopefully this will work. Look at how much, that, look at how much color that packed on. Okay, so this is very sparkly. I actually don't mind that, but um, I probably should have thought that through a little bit before I did that. So, the mats are, I mean, it's a good eyeshadow. It's just. I didn't want it that sparkly. Even though I'm looking right at it and I clearly could tell that it's sparkly, I just didn't. Apparently it didn't click that it was going to be like, boom, it's going to be uh, a little bright on your eye. Okay, so then I'm going to take Aura Metallic and I'm going to put that kind of towards my inner corner. My insert corner. So far, yeah, you can really see that sparkle. Okay, so we're gonna put its aura and the metallic right in my inner corner, kind of right here. Okay, this is not really showing up. There we go. I can see it really well over on this eye, but on this, this eye, I couldn't really see it all too much. Okay. All right, and I'm going to bring this brush. We're going to just go kind of like this with the color. So I don't think I went all the way over. And then what I'm going to do is go right in the center with some glitter. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. We'll see what kind of look this turns out to be. Oh, you know what? You should do this too. You should put this up right over my brow. Yeah, 
definitely more of a fall look and that's okay all right now for the glitter I'm just gonna do that with my finger so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it's soothe glitter a little bit more difficult when you have a fingernail so I'm just kind of pressing that on there That's really pretty. All right, and then there is this kind of pinkish shade. It is Poet Sequin. I'm gonna go with that underneath. It's kind of a red shade. No. Should we? No, I'm gonna go with Story and Sequin. I can't read, y'all. I can't. I feel like this will stay with it a little bit better. Going like that under. I really need to try doing my concealer before my under eye because it would just make more sense. But I always find myself like I was going to try that and then I just it on my eye so we're just gonna go with it I tend to put way too much and go down a little bit far but I correct that with concealer that is a gorgeous color I think I do need a little bit more this color here in the corner that wow all right so I'm gonna use just a regular brown liner no not that one actually I have these here from Colourpop it's oh it's black it's black and blue I don't want black and blue I want brown if I can find it All right, so I'm just going to take this liner on my waterline. I haven't put makeup on it in so long that I...
could you bring the top all the way over but not the bottom I don't know why I'm getting eyeliner everywhere. It is what it is. I'm going to have to probably fix it a little bit. We all have those days. Right. All right. I am going to finish my makeup and I will be right back. So I'm back. I have most of my makeup on. I do just want to add one last thing. Um, something that I got in my, I think it was my last boxy charm. Maybe it was my first boxy charm. I don't know. Is this MAC lipstick. And it is in Velvet Teddy. And I thought it might look pretty. <clears throat> so let's see. Swatch it here. Kind of a neutral, naturally color. So let's put that on. Why does it smell so good? Oh, side note, why am I so horrible at applying lipstick? I actually really like that. It feels very, very super, super creamy. I've never used a MAC lipstick before. I've always wanted to, but I never. <laughs> it was never something I would have bought myself because before I joined Unique, you know, I was always um, like Walmart. And I don't live in a big enough city. We don't have an Ulta or Sephora, so I'm stuck with whatever we have. All right, so today we're talking about the the mac lipstick but we're also talking about this tati beauty palette now this is the textured neutrals volume one super super excited to see volume two tati if you want to get on that thank you um very very nice very nice this whole look was put together with that palette um i have to say i did this a couple hours ago and took a little bit of a longer break before i finished and did the rest of my face and the eye makeup really held up like super super held up and um I was actually really shocked I was like okay it's been a long time since I touched it like what do I have to fix what do I have to whatever it was pretty good I mean you know I don't other than cleaning up a little bit underneath my eye because it happens um really I didn't have to do anything so I am really really happy <clears throat> with the quality of this palette. I do highly recommend this. It's a very beautiful palette. Um, it's got tons of neutral colors. So if you don't like the, the brighter colors, or maybe you don't use them. I mean, most of us, um, not me, but <laughs> most women, I think, go for palettes that are um, they want colors that they're actually going to use, colors that they can use for multiple occasions, like something that they could use for a holiday just as well as like every day. And I think this is definitely that palette. It does come with mattes and shimmers. So, you know, for your holidays, you could go into a more shimmery shade, but there's just, it's, sorry if you saw my desk, um, just a good variety of shades in there. And I think it's really quite pretty you know so they got it this palette really does I mean you know everyday holiday this really does have it I know it's like $48 I think this is a good investment and I will say there was very little kick out in the pan if you look for that um very very little fallout under my eye if any I don't really think there was any except for the glitter um I did not use glitter glue, so maybe that's why glitters as a whole, even pressed glitter, they can tend to get everywhere. So you need to be careful and just be aware of that. I did not do my brows with 
her palette. I used a Smashbox palette and an e.l.f. brush, and it did not work as well as one would hope. The brush, not the palette. Palette's fine. Anyway. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. I really enjoyed that one. So excited that I have this. I can't wait to do so many more looks. I know this is a little bit more of a fall look rather than a spring look. But there's tons of like pinks in here and there's tons of like lighter shades too. So you could absolutely um, do like, you know, just like an everyday, you know, just an everyday look. You could absolutely do something that's a little bit more festive, which I'm probably going to do next time. Um, but yeah. And of course you can combine this with whatever other palettes that you have too. I always get into, I get stuck into the thinking that <laughs> if I'm going to use this palette, I'm only going to use this palette and that's it. And like the colors in that palette. And um, only after the fact, I'm like, oh, I could have used this palette for this or I could use this palette for this. Um, so don't be afraid to, to mix up your, your palettes. I mean, you know, I wouldn't put a cream shadow on top of a powder shadow. Other than that, like, you know, mix up the brands, you know, whatever, whatever. But I really like that one. And the matte, MAC, I keep saying matte. The MAC lipstick was also very, very nice too. Um, this is the only shade that I've tried, Velvet Teddy. It's not the one I thought I was going to be getting, but it's it's really pretty. It actually is very, very nice. Um, so yeah, highly recommend. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, I do apologize for this video taking so long. I have been kind of sick and I had some, some health issues come up. I was not able to film. Um, I do have a lot of back issues quite often. So um, if you follow me on Facebook, you know all this. Um, I don't want to get too deep into it. I just, you know, many people have back issues. So I love you so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.